Hi everyone, my name is Tanya and my husband and I have just arrived to Surat Thani. It is the province uh, in Thailand and uh, here the journey starts. This city is a jump point uh, for going to the islands uh, like Samui, uh, Koh Samui, Koh Pangan, Koh Tao and that's where we are going to go. Though there are a lot of tourists uh, who are coming to the islands, uh, yeah, this city is not touristic at all, it is like a real Thailand and I'm going to show you this. We've been to many Thailand spots like Pattaya, Phuket, Bangkok several times, Yehoa Hin, now we are in Surat Thani, so we can compare. We arrive at night, as you can see, uh, the city is uh, very beautiful with the city lightning. You can find a lot of night markets, but they work till 9 in the evening. Yeah, so as the cafes work. Uh, we rented a room beforehand uh, to spend one night in Surat Thani because we don't want to be in a rush. Uh, our hotel looks like, like this uh, and it is a very stylish uh, place with uh, little and quite standard rooms. I will now show you our room. It is very cheap, like 400 baht per one night and we actually liked it for one night. Uh, it is quite enough and there are a lot of spots where you can sit and drink coffee there is also uh, a common kitchen where you can get this coffee for free uh, so we are satisfied for this price and right after check-in we went out to get some food we found a lot of uh, night markets a lot of them are filled with uh, some cookery stuff uh, some clothes which are second-hand and actually when well, the next day we went for a walk we had one spare day here and it was raining and the city looked so doom that we made a decision that in the evening it looked much better uh, these were very tasty dumplings in that cafe. Yeah, so we were walking around uh, Surat Thani. We found some beautiful temples. So the temples, like everywhere else in Thailand, our walk around the city took us about two hours. It would be uh, even faster if it wasn't raining. And yeah, now you can see the streets of Surat Thani. Uh, and uh, if uh, I should answer the question if it is worth visiting or not, I think that one day for the city will be enough and you shouldn't plan visiting the city as uh, a complete journey, yeah? it is really a jump off to the islands. But if you are like us, if you are not so fast travelers, well then why not staying here for one night or one day and looking at everything around you and uh, understanding tininess more because uh, usually tourists go to touristic places and uh, here it is not so touristic as uh, it seemed to be at the beginning because yeah a lot of people come here but they come just uh, for one hour or two hours or one night yeah to go to the pier then and to move to Kosamui for example yes uh, we will do uh, later uh, and uh, this tree is uh, very beautiful uh, though it just pretends to be a tree but it is gold and there is a very beautiful temple near the tree i know that in chiang rai it must be much more such temples but here it is and we liked it uh, so we are heading to Ko Samui and the ticket is around 300 baht, about 9-10 dollars. So in my next video I will show you our way to Samui. Now we are going to Dansak and from there there will be a pier to uh, Samui. So give this video a like if it was useful for you and subscribe to me not to miss more videos. See you!